Okay, I want to uh, install Joomla now on my um, Apache PHP MySQL situation set up here on Ubuntu Linux. So I've downloaded Joomla 1.5.22. It's not the latest version, it's 1.5. Um, why would I want to do that? Well, 1.6 just came out, so a lot of the extensions have not yet migrated to 1.6, so I was thinking I would, I would just do 1.5. So I'm at Joomla.org and I clicked on download so I'm on the download section right and in the download section you can download 1.6.1 the full package or you can go down and download the older version 1.5.22 and that's what I got right now there it is and I need to copy this into my Apache folder so to do that though I, I want to open up a um, browser a file browser, a Nautilus browser with root permissions. So what I'm going to do is I found a website that has a very cool command. I want to try it out. Okay, so I'm going to paste this in here. Paste. And instead of using nano, I'm going to use um, gedit because I prefer gedit right now because I'm whatever. It's graphical. I don't know. I like it. And I'm going to put in my password. Hopefully you can see the command. And that opens up a gedit um, file. And for um, the file nautilus-root.desktop. So basically I opened up a file in root user share applications. And inside the applications directory, the file is called nautilus capital N dash root dot desktop. Okay, and now I'm going to paste in what the website suggested. All right, there it is. And that looks good. And I'm going to hit file, save. I'll close that out. All right. Okay, and now under um, system applications system tools file browser root so now what that file did was it allowed me to go under applications system tools file browser root and if I go there I put in my password it should open up a file browser with root permissions right and yeah, it looks like it worked. That's pretty cool. All right, that was awesome. Um, so now what I should be able to do is say, let's see here, go up and I'll go to, no, I'll go to home, Dan, downloads, and I'll right click on this, copy, and then I'll go up, up, up all the way to the root folder, go over to var, go over to www, and paste it in here. Okay, now I've got Joomla pasted into this window. Okay, now that I have the zipped Joomla package uh, pasted into the www folder, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to right click, create folder, and I'll call it test1, enter. And then I'm going to copy this, and actually what I can do is, I'll take that back, I'll delete that folder, and what I'll do is I'll just right click and hit extract here. Okay, and when I do that I get an extracted folder here, and then I'll just right click on it and rename, and rename that to test1, right, and that sounds good. If I want to do that, I can also do it with a root terminal, right? I could do the same thing with a root terminal. CD, change directory into var, dub, 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 right? And I could just do an unzip, then type capital J, hit tab completion, and hit enter and that would um, unzip it right there. Now if you do that, what ends up happening is 
it unzips it, but with no folder extracted to it. So now you have Joomla unzipped completely all over your directory. So I didn't want to do that, so that was a bummer. So now I got to go in and delete all this stuff here. Let's delete that. And let's see here. Delete that. See what made a mess all over my folder. Great. All right, cleaning this up, cleaning this up. These are all the Joomla files. All right, deleted, deleted. Okay. Um, so, but it's good that you saw that because you can see that, you know, you can make a mess too. So now I'm back to where I started. So that was not such a good idea. So what I'll do is I'll clear that. And okay, now that I have the zipped Joomla package uh, pasted into the www folder, I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm going to right click, create folder, and I'll call it test one enter and then I'm going to copy this and actually what I can do is I'll take that back I'll delete that folder and what I'll do is I'll just right click and hit extract here okay and when I do that I get an extracted folder here and then I'll just right click on it and rename and rename that to test one right and that sounds good. If I want to do that, I can also do it with a root terminal, right? I could do the same thing with a root terminal. CD, change directory into var, dub, 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 right? And I could just do an unzip, then type capital J, hit tab completion, and hit enter and that would um, unzip it right there. Now if you do that, what ends up happening is it unzips it, but with no folder extracted to it. So now you have Joomla unzipped completely all over your directory. So I didn't want to do that, so that was a bummer. So now I gotta go in and delete all this stuff here. Let's delete that. And let's see here. I've got to delete this. All right. And delete that. And delete that. And delete that. See what made a mess all over my folder. Great. All right, cleaning this up, cleaning this up. These are all the Joomla files. All right, deleted, deleted. Okay. Um, so, but it's good that you saw that because you can see that, you know, you can make a mess too. So now I'm back to where I started. So that was not such a good idea. So what I'll do is I'll clear that. MKDIR, hold on one second. Um, MKDIR, make directory test 2, right? Then I do a copy, cp, j, tab, there's the name of the package, 2, test 2, and then give it a new name like t2.zip, right? Hit enter, and then I could change directory into test 2, do an ls, there it is, and then unzip t2.zip and there it goes right and now if I go in here you can see that I have a test 2 folder also